These simulators are used for training locomotive engineer students. The beauty of these is you can actually orchestrate the experience. We can introduce scenarios, if you will, that the student wouldn't necessarily always experience when he's out on a real train. And, and that allows the student to, to learn the behaviors that are expected when the unforeseen occurs. So like so what? Like, like a school bus stopping the track. Brakes are all released. So away we go. You've got full motion around the cab. So we've got, we've got screens, monitors around you, so you actually get the, the feeling that you're moving in, in this cab. We're stationary, obviously, but you get that impression that you're actually moving. And how real to life are, are these pictures? This is actually shot on location just, uh, just west of Banff. So is this virtual reality in a way, or? Well, in a way, yes, it is. What's occurring in the train is very close to reality, how the train reacts and the feedback the student gets is virtually the same. So the look and feel of the controls, the way the train is reacting to the, to the controls, is exactly what you would feel on a, on a real train. So for the locomotive engineer and the conductor, all those things are very important. Like they're, they're managing this 20,000 ton asset through curves and grades, and they have to do so in a responsible manner. How fast can you go? Well, you can go as fast as the train is capable of. This, this particular track is rated for 40 miles an hour, so that's as fast as we're going to go. There's a clear signal coming up in front of us, so that's a track signal. The track signal tells us what we can do at the signal going past it, and what we should expect of the next signal beyond. So if we've got a clear signal, we're going straight up the main. 